this is a new constant current digital PWM. You have the control module which can mount inside the vehicle cab. Uh, the uh, PWM module itself. Each controller can control up to five or six uh, PWM modules and hook to multiple cells. We'll, uh, we'll handle up to 45 amps at 12 volts DC. This is the new constant current PWM with digital display. Um, it's running on the new hybrid conversions S series cells. Uh, this is a 12 volt cell here. I uh, disconnected the flow pump to, to eliminate some of the noise, but this cell will generally produce 25% more HHO when using the flow pump. Uh, we're running 6 amps now. And you can see our gas production here. This unit has a menu that you access by pressing a button. It's the constant current digital PWM. Uh, you can go to you can set your temperature in Fahrenheit Celsius. It'll, it'll monitor cell temperature for you with an optional temperature probe. You can uh, you can set how your display is laid out with amps and duty cycle frequency as well. It's a lifetime timer. Adjustable pulse width modulator frequency from 5 to 4,000 Hertz. You can set it here 500,000. You can actually hear the frequency in the cell changing. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it on this video. You can also set the duty cycle here. It's, uh, it's only running at 16%. Uh, PWM constant amps. This is your constant current control mode. Click yes. <clears throat> First it'll ask you to set your amperage. Right now it's set at 6.4. This electrolyte in this cell is set to draw about 22 amps. So as you as you increase your amps, you should see your gas production increase, and it will hold it at whatever amper you tell it by adjusting the duty cycle. Go ahead and set it at uh, 10. 70% duty cycle. When you exit the menu. Then change should rise to 10. And the gas production is increased. We'll go back and we'll we'll turn it up to about 22. Exit the setup and amp should rise. The gas production should also rise. As you increase the amps, you should see your gas production increase. We were running 6 amps. We're going to bring it up to about 12. Exit the menu. And your amp rush should rise. as well as your gas production here.
we'll bring it up to um, about 22 amps. We'll change the frequency a little bit here. We're at 500 hertz. You can you listen here the pitch change in the cell. At higher frequencies, you'll get a higher percentage of monoatomic hydrogen, which actually burns a little bit faster. Sounds like a more of a distinct sharp crack during combustion. 